And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, uh, Orange was a Distortion Battle battle show. Oh, My name's Gabor. Seamless. I know, I, oh, I've got nothing. Roll off the tongue. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out the Was It Craft Distortion today. DS1W. Yes. W. Now, who, hands up, mm. whose first pedal ever was a DS1? Yep. Okay, put your hands down. I, uh, I mean, everyone's first pedal was a DS1, and this is Pretty the Wasified. Was everyone, everyone, probably our age. Yeah. You know, the, the youngins nowadays. Yeah. You had to have one. It was in the Bible somewhere towards the end. Oh, mate, the but... neural DSP, that's my first one. <laughs> this is the new version. We're going to check it out. Please hit like and subscribe on the video. Thumbs up, ding the bell. Comments below. That'd be awesome. And yeah. this was sent to us by Boss Australia. Thank you, Ed. Thanks, uh, So this is what you would call a sponsored video. Uh, it's just so you know, to hear the pedal, go from Moztronics Amp Switcher, OTS Mini 28, and two notes to Peter Captain X. Yes. Now, before we even begin... Yo. It is my personal opinion, Yo. and this is my opinion, that DS1s Yo. sound best through Marshall-style amps, Probs. but we're using a Fender-style, Dumble-style amp, but just because I think a lot of people have Fender-style amps, so, you know, but to me, personally, I think they sound sure. best through Marshall-style amp. We might, I might do a video, quick video at my place through to one yeah. of the Marshall-style amps or something like I that, don't I don't know, Marshall. or go and check out one of the 650,000 other videos <laughs> uh, done on this pedal but we're going through the fender style thing now uh uh the ds1 uh i mean everyone everyone kind of knows the ds1 mm. it's sort of i think isn't it one of the most sold pedals ever that one sure. of those things Let's say uh, that. tone distortion and volume uh and now you also have the little s and c to standard and custom mode switch on it um yeah it's orange should we just try it out it's good so let's start off in standard up. yep and let's see if we can find a sound in standards that you like okay uh, and then see if we switch to custom, if we like it even better. Clean tone. Oh, and at Yo. the end of this video, later on in this video, we're going to also plug it in and compare it to an old Japanese-made DS1 of mine. Which is uh, relict. Relict, yes. Sure. <laughs> So first thing with the DS1, in my personal opinion anyway, tone needs to be low because <laughs> yeah. it's very buzzy. buzzy. Yeah, it's very, uh, well, oh. dog's probably making a camera shake now, but dog's, back. Hello, dog. dog, dog's here. There's a dog, itchy bum dog. Uh, so let's, let's find a sound yep. that you would like in the standard mode. So okay, let's turn the tone down a bit, to uh, turn the level up a bit because they're all, also often a little quiet, I find mm -hmm. DS1s. <laughs> And let's see with distortion where we like it. So go. Does it sound all right? Sounds like a distortion. Okay. So should we... So Look at that same setting now, sure. but flick it to custom and see what happens. Do it, flick it to custom. So what it did, apparently, what they did was the custom mode, uh, it adds more mid-range, mm -hmm. and then it changes the tone to a more mid-focused sweep, mm -hmm. uh, and you get more volume too, because that's one Can of the things I always found with DS1, the volume was quite low, you had to really yeah. hit it hard. So with this, I think one of the ideas as well is if you turn a distortion down, you can kind of use it to boost into things a bit more. Kind of like people do with Super Overdrive, that kind of boosty thing. So if we, if we turn it the distortion low.
definitely feel like there's more mid range there. Yeah. Which is a nice thing. Yeah, yeah. And it just gets bigger and fatter Perfect. and maybe more usable. Like like bigger and fatter and usable. What he said. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to try this now with some pretty high alpha pickups. So this is the Mr. Glynn's um, Cloud9 in a bridge and Tui in the neck. This is, oh, I should mention this is the Vandercaster. I call it a Vandercaster. It's a parts guitar uh, with a what used to be carver neck. Now Kiesel, but Carvin that I had floating around because I briefly worked for Carvin. Um, Vandercaster's body, Vega Tram in those Mr. Glenn pickups. Uh, and it's got a... Um, Trebs. Treble cap on it for the volume too, so when it roll it back. Because that's one of the other things it said about the custom mode, much more dynamic. So this is the clean sounds on the bridge pickup, which is quite pokey. <laughs> So I would turn the tone down a bit more and the volume up a bit more for that. Okay, so now let's just check, let's just check in standard mode if I turn the volume down. Actually sounds alright. Okay, now... Actually, that's the best I've ever heard it with those pickups. Well, I mean... It's maybe it needs to be hit hard. Possibly, yeah. Maybe that's one of the... I mean, DS1 sort of... When it came out late, very late 70s, maybe early 80s. Uh, I mean, that's one of the reasons... Th this is meant to be sort of super strat with, uh, you know... Tribute Dimarzio thingy. distortion, yeah. you know, pickup style thing. Like, heavy output kind of pickups. Uh, maybe that's what you need to do with the DS1 to make it sound good. But it gets so much bigger in custom mode. I don't know. Okay, now let's try that. This is the very first volume you get. But I mean, there's a lot of gain there when you turn it I think that's what's cool. Let's try it with Definitely P90s. Cleans up better on the um, custom side. Way better. Now, this is a Larave RS2, I think. Oh, yeah. Because uh, people always ask us about this guitar, Larave RS2. Uh, that was let's cleaner. get this one. Okay, so let's go. Same setting I just had, but in standard mode.
think a custom mode sounds great. Yeah. I really like a custom mode. Let's very quickly, before we compare it to the other DS1, the old DS1, let's see how it handles low tunings. Mm -hmm. So this is the Doom Master, and this is Alex's favorite bit. Bagalese guitar, aluminium neck, Vanda guitar body, Descendant Vibrato, Mastery Bridge, Curtis Novak, Thunderbird bass for guitar pickups, Herod or Justin Hermes design, uh, custom anodized aluminium guard, and string switch noise uh, switching. Wow. <laughs> and it's tuned to C standard tuning. And when I play a C chord, or actually an E chord, but what, it's a C what, chord. What finish do you call this? Uh, this is called uh, Brown. Cool. Yeah. Carry on. Uh, if I play an E chord, which is a C chord, it sounds like this. Let's see how it handles those tunings. I don't mind the standard for that sound. Yeah, it's fuzzier. It has more of a fuzziness to it. Turn gain down just for the record. She sounds surprisingly good, quite micro microphonic as well. Uh, it sounds surprisingly good on the normal yeah. setting. Maybe the lower tunings having that sure. that fuzziness and more top end to it. Now, so it works with low tunings. Should we now compare it to the old DS1? OG, stay tuned. Let's. And we're back, and we have uh, a relic, uh, well, not relic, it's just old, an old <laughs> DS1, uh, Japanese made DS1, uh, and the DS1W. Now, this one uh, we've got hooked up uh, with the 12 volt adapter, you know, the way you meant to do it, um, with the older Japanese style a a ACA adapter, whatever it's called. Uh, now, let's compare it. So I did a video actually with this going into the effects loop return of my amp, which you can watch here. Yeah. It's a lovely sounding DS1. Out of pretty much all the DS1s I've had, and I think I've had maybe three or four all up over the years, this one's probably been one of my favorite ones. Um, actually, there's also, check out the video, I'll link to it up here. Um, Andy, Guitar Geek, did a video, and I think he did every model of it. All right. That they changed things ever so slightly. He had like, I don't know, if, 57 different DS ones and he did a shoot up between it so that's the video that was up there that before check geeky. that out that is geeky he's, a, he's, he's geeky um, lovely dude but glass, geeky glasses people's glasses and I mean afros <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go the fro uh, alright let's do it let's hey, check it out so this is now again clean sound girls get the girls <laughs> Sounds pretty, pretty good, doesn't it? It's got a lot of mid range. Yeah, well, it's, it's a little bit different. That's what I mean. It's a slightly different. Like, I like that DS1. It was <laughs> yeah. a fluke. It, I got it from, from Tim at Mojo Stump Boxes, and it was a fluke. I really like it. Cool. Now, same settings on the standard mode. Let's see what it sounds like. Closer then. Pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. Now let's do the same thing but with more gain. Let's just check it out. Let's just go. I'll just play one chord so you can talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Pičku, pičku. Uh, Nefšáp. something there i don't know it, it has some mojo mid-range you... it is a different mid-range Difference. yeah anyway let's it's just now let's go to custom mode just so we can compare the difference sort of between the custom mode and all japanese one that people pay stupid money for nowadays yeah. which probably shouldn't but let's just compare <laughs> Some mojo, the old one, I gotta say. Well, I said it obviously has more mid range, a lot more mid range, more bottom end, too. That's how it's designed, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah. Should it, let, let, think, let me have a quick what do you think? What do you think? Let me have a quick let me have a quick noodle with both of them and see how we go. And then we gotta do both on at once, yeah, gotta stack them, yeah. Uh, okay, with three more metal zones. See what I mean? It has it has some mojo, that one. <laughs> But again, I gotta say there is some mojo there. But is there? To me, there is something there. I don't know. Maybe it's just. I don't know. It's so damn close. It is close, but this I don't know. Do you think it's darker? Maybe a bit darker. Not as, not as spiky in the top end as, as DS ones usually are. Maybe that's one of the things I like about it. It's it's less bright. Because that sounds good. If, I mean, and that's the Fender style amp into a Marshall style amp that would sound even better. Let's do both. thoughts ds1w i think it's great i love the custom mode custom i think the custom mode for me made it yep 
it, it made it much more usable. Um, I do still have to say there's something about this old one, whether, and again, I mean, whether it's just components degrading over age, getting old, getting old or yeah. I mean, it is a bit crackly and stuff like that. Um, it has, I, I do have to say, I think, I think all up, this is my fourth DS1 I've owned. Um, and when I first plugged it and heard it, I went, oh, this sounds better than what I remember. Yeah, cool. Uh, whether it's again more nostalgia thing or I don't know and in that video that was up there earlier on of me when I ran into the effect loop return at, at the beginning I didn't run into the effect loop return I went into the front of it and so many people commented saying that's one of the best sounding DS ones they've heard and I do think it has some mojo but all up I do think the the, the custom mode is yeah. is really nice on this I mean it was a thing they, do, they are doing the right thing I think oh, yeah. they're doing it well Doing good, good wazers. Yes. What do you guys think? Do you yeah. like the wazza down below, or do you like the the old or wazza? Yeah. Right, which one was your right, favourite? Right, old or wazza. <laughs> old, standard or wazza. There you go. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging with us. Links below to Instagram, Facebook, and podcast. <laughs> Anything else we should say? Except thanks again to Ed. No, thank you, Ed, and thank you, Boss Australia, for sending yeah. this out to us. Um, and I'm going to put up a playlist of all the boss. Roland sure. pedals we've done uh, here.